Hello everyone, I'm Steve, G0TAN, and I would like to welcome you to another in the series of Martin Lynch's Helpful Ham videos. Today what I'm going to do is show you how to fit plugs onto bits of coax. Um, it's a question we get off asked quite often in the workshop, um, and it's part of the uh, intermediate uh, exam, the practical exercise of the intermediate exam. So it's a Hopefully it's going to help you uh, do stuff at home, um, which you know, you've never done before, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, thank you. Okay, in this part of the video, uh, what I'm going to do is show you how to fit the compression version of the PL259. So, we're going to start off with this one. Remembering that when we were fitting the regular screw-on type, we only had two parts. We had the back shell and the main body. Well, in this one we have quite a little bit more um, I'm going to say bits to assemble, but it's still not too bad. Here we go. Right. And it's a good idea to just lay them out in sequence. So what you're going to do is start off like this. You're going to have the back nut, you're going to have the, the washer, the waterproof um, gland, and then you have the hat or the T hat, and then you have the main body. So again, what you want to do in this one is start off, you're going to trim the outer cable. Now remember this, this time we're not using RG213, we're going to be using Ultraflex 10, which again is a lovely piece of coax. So the first thing is we're going to trim the outer braid. Again this one, uh, I don't know where you can see, there's a little ridge down inside um, there. That's where you're going to sort of want to make the inner conductor uh, to the how can I say it, the actual one, one take off the sheath to. So somewhere again if you line up the two ends and I would say somewhere around about there. You don't want to cut off too much, it makes yourself too much work. So here we go. Right, and again, I'm going to start off with this. Just on the outside. And a little bit down there. Much nicer to work with. There we go. Oh, look at that. Easy. So, the same as the RG213, we've got the outer braid, which again, you peel, peel back. Right. Um, one thing I, I said in the last video is that the first things that you do is remember to put all the back stuff on, otherwise if you forget. Now if I had done this, um, what, you, what you end up doing now, you've got more bits to assemble and it will be a right pain to take it off again. So again, start off with a back nut, start off with a washer. Now this washer has to go on, if I can pick it up, has to go on next and the reason for that washer is Basically, it allows once you've got the the rubber insulation, uh, the rubber grommet on there. If you didn't have that washer, it'd be very difficult to do up that back nut. So that's that's the reason for that washer. So we start off with this. Put the rubber bit on, nice and tight. <coughs> Push that down, and then you have your T hat. Now again, you peel the braid away. Now in this instance, what you have here. There's a light, slight split in, I don't know whether you can see it, there. That allows the T-hat to open and close. But the idea is you put it on the outside of the inner, inner sh uh, copper sheath and between that and the actual braid itself. So you just push it. Nice, easy. Right, and then we trim off like before. I've got my wire cutters. Doing quite well on this because I forgot my glasses, so uh, I've not made any mistakes so far. It's quite impressive. Right, here we go. Oops, no, that was my thumb. Right, so that should be pretty much about it. Right, that's nice, you can just tidy it up. And just push the gland back like that, and that is it. Right, next bit, you take this and you trim very carefully. The, the copper sheath and the inner insulation. But again, don't cut down right down to the core conductor, just enough to break it. And then you can get that. And then if you're lucky, 
I might use a pair of pliers, uh, wire cutters on this, just to gently tease this out of the way to get it started. There we go. So that's what you want. That should be flush. Now, an important thing to check here is that there's no shorts between either the braid or the inner conductor and the um, outer, the the uh, copper copper sheath on the outside. So that should be all clear. Once you've got that, you basically again get this. You line that up push that all the way up in there and you can see it's coming out I'd cut it a little bit on the long side that you then just screw up as tight as you can Let's see what we can do here a pair of suitable pliers and spanners very useful I'll try and get this that's it so that's now compressed the gland so that back end of the plug is now waterproof so what you need to do is just now is just to trim that copper inner to the uh, end of the uh, pin on the plug. So, and then if we're lucky, what we can do is get our soldering iron again and solder. Try if we're very lucky, we can um, get that again. And when you're doing this sort of thing, you just want the solder to go down inside the pin and solder the, the actual conductor, the inner conductor of that. If you do get any on the outside, which I'm lucky this time I haven't got it, you can just scrape it off very carefully with a knife, and that's that's good. You don't want to leave any solder on the outside, so that's, that's good. And there you have the compression type PL259. Thank you.